In this video, I'm going to look at wiping all internal drives in a Dell PC using a feature called Dell Data Wipe, which is present in the UEFI BIOS setup of newer Dell systems manufactured in late 2015 or later. So this video will look at the traditional UEFI BIOS setup and not the touchscreen block UEFI BIOS setup, which some models have. Okay, so make sure your Dell is powered down and then power it up and press F2 to get to the UEFI BIOS setup. Now, in the systems that use the block-based UEFI BIOS setup for touchscreens, there's some minor issues with Dell Data Wipe. So I'm just going to check that this version doesn't have these issues. So I'll check that Secure Boot is enabled and under system configuration, I'll check to see what the SATA operation is. Now, Dell Data Wipe should work under both AHCI and RAID SATA operation. However, I noticed a wee bug in the block-based UFI by setup when the SATA operation is set to AHCI, it hangs on the Dell logo. So this traditional menu doesn't seem to have this issue and is likely updated and a bit more of a stable UFI BIOS setup. So expand the maintenance tab and look for data wipe. Now, if you don't have data wipe, then you likely have an older Dell model which doesn't support Dell data wipe, and you'll need to use a third party utility like Parted Magic to perform a secure arrays of all your internal drives. So when you Check the checkbox or wipe on next boot, you'll be given a warning. So you'll need to select OK. And then you'll be given a second warning, which is phrased as a negative. So you'll need to select No. Once you've done this, you can select Exit. And the system will reboot. And you'll be taken into the Dell Data Wipe splash screen. So you'll be once again asked whether you want to continue. So select continue and then select arrays. Now, if you've got a NVMe solid state drive or a SATA solid state drive, the secure arrays will take a matter of minutes. So one to two minutes and it should be done. If you're using a mechanical hard drive, then the race procedure of a mechanical hard drive is a lot slower and the access time of a mechanical hard drive is a lot slower so it's going to take at least several hours. So once it's done, you should be informed that it's completed successfully and then you can select OK. OK, so once you've done this, you're not going to have an operating system on your internal drives and you're going to need to install an operating system using a USB flash drive. And Dell Data Wipe won't touch USB devices, so if you've got a USB flash drive attached when you perform Dell Data Wipe, you're not going to securely erase the flash drive as well. Okay, so you'll be told that the Data Wipe was started and completed successfully. So power off your Dell and power it up and press F12. Now, if you've got old entries in your UFI boot, you're likely wanting to get rid of them. So you can enter the setup and then go to boot sequence. And basically uncheck your USB flash drive and then select delete boot option. And once again, uncheck your USB flash drive and select delete boot option until you only have your USB flash drive left. And you'll need a USB flash drive plugged in to do this because it may not let you delete anything if there's only one entry here. Okay, select apply, and then select okay, and then select exit. And once your Dell power is up, what you want to do is press F12 to get to the UFI BIOS boot menu. And now only your USB flash drive should display. So highlight your USB flash drive and select enter. And then you can go ahead and install your operating system. 
Now this video is just focusing on using Dell Data Wipe. However, I've made other tutorial videos which instruct on downloading a Windows 10 installation ISO and creating a bootable USB for a UFI bias with Secure Boot. And I've also created videos on downloading Ubuntu 2004 and creating a UFI bootable USB for, with Secure Boot. And I go through the full installation and UFI BIOS setup. And I'll leave these in the video description below. So if you need these, then you can go ahead and follow them.